Hi folks, Dr. Miller welcoming you to Module 2 Ratio Analysis of our Finance 520 course. This module focuses on Chapter 10, which is Credit Analysis. This chapter focuses on, as I say, credit analysis and is separated into two major sections, liquidity analysis and solvency analysis. Liquidity refers to the availability of resources to meet short-term cash requirements. A company's short-term liquidity risk is affected by the timing of cash inflows and outflows, along with its prospects for future performance. Our analysis of liquidity is aimed at companies' operating activities, their ability to generate profits from the sale of goods and services, and working capital requirements and measures. This chapter, or Chapter 10, describes several significant financial statement analysis tools to assess short-term liquidity risk for a company. Pardon me. We begin with a discussion of the importance of liquidity and its link to working capital. We explain and interpret useful ratios of both working capital and a company's operating cycle for assessing liquidity. We also discuss potential adjustments to these anal an an analytical tools and the underlying financial statement numbers. What if analysis of changes in a company's conditions or strategies concludes the section? And my and our, and our course mentor just uh, mascot just jumped up. This is not Joe. The second part of the chapter of chapter ten considers solvency risk. Solvency is an, is an important factor in analysis of a company's financial statements. Solvency refers to a company's long-run financial viability and its ability to cover long-term obligations. All business activities of a company, its financing, its investing, and operating, affect the company's solvency. One of the most important components of solvency analysis is the composition of a company's capital structure. Capital structure matters. Capital structure refers to a company's sources of financing and its economic attributes, its levels of debt, and its levels of equity. Chapter 10 describes capital structure and explains its importance of solvency analysis. Since solvency depends on success in operating activities, the chapter examines earnings and its ability to cover important and necessary expenditures. Specifically, Chapter 10 describes the various tools of solvency analysis, including leverage measures, analytical accounting adjustments, capital structure analysis, and earnings coverage measures. We demonstrate these analytical tools with data from financial statements. We also discuss the relationship between risk and return inherent in the company's capital structure and its implications for financial statement analysis. Hope you enjoyed module two and I hope this little this brief introduction helped you along the way. Thanks again. Bye-bye.